Well, here we are. It's the 4th of July. And what a great patriotic day that is for the nation. And what better food to fix on the 4th of July than a truly American potato salad. Well, we're going to put a little bit different spin on it today because we're going to incorporate all fresh things from the garden. And we've got some fresh cucumbers sliced up in here mixed with a little bit of sweet pickle relish and some onion and some fat-free ranch dressing and we'll add to our dressing oops, check this thing out a large <laughs> jar one of gallon miracle whip. This one is, gallon of miracle whip we got that at the save a lot the other day it's short dated big we only, can make a lot <laughs> only good till the end of the month but it was five bucks and the regular size jars were four and change so Shoot, why not, you know? Plus we have pasta salad somewhere that... Already made that. You already made that, okay. So it probably yeah. won't have any Miracle Whip in it. What we've got cooking here is some potatoes. And a little tip for potato salad makers, it's a whole lot easier to peel the potatoes and cut them into the potato-sized pieces before you cook the potatoes. Because then when they're cooked, they're ready to go right away. So a little shortcut there, and I also have another wonderful shortcut tool that I'll show you in just a minute called an egg right, but it's not quite ready to come out of the eggs yet. Okay. Yep, we have hard boiled eggs going over here. I guess I can show you the egg right right now. There it is right there, it's that red thing, and as the eggs uh, approach proper hard boiling, the uh, thing changes color to a dark purple. Anyway, to make a long story short, the egg right basically tells you when your hard-boiled eggs have reached the desired point of doneness. Oops. <laughs> Just going to taste that one, see if it was done. We'll see. A little hot. Alright, there's the egg right once again. The egg right is the best invention for cooking hard-boiled eggs in the whole wide world because it has three marks hard medium and soft and it turns black or dark purple when it has reached that cooking level so right now it's at the hard mark so I know that my eggs are done to perfection no more green yolks just perfect eggs every time. Folks that may not be experienced in how to cook a perfect hard-boiled egg, not only is the egg right a wonderful tool for timing, but as soon as the eggs reach that level, you have to stop the cooking process by plunging them into ice water. Failure to do that will give you those unappealing green egg yolks. Now here are the eggs now fully cooked to perfection in ice water to stop the cooking process and we'll have those brilliant yellow egg yolks that are so attractive in food preparation. Don't try that ice thing with a glass pot. <laughs> no. And now our potatoes are done as well so we'll drain them in a colander. And now, it's off to the dill patch to harvest some fresh, organic, pesticide-free, beautiful dill grown in our own garden to complement the other fresh, organic components of our 4th of July potato salad. All this beautiful, fresh dill. And it's so fragrant when you walk by. It just smells like dill pickles. And it's just beautiful at, at just the peak of greenness here. It's so fresh and vibrant. And so we'll cut some. Now, when cutting dill, you have a dilemma. Do you want the leaves, as we see here, or do you want the seed heads? 
Either can be used. It's just a matter of preference. So we'll harvest some lovely fresh dill. That's really fragrant now that you've oh, cut yes. that. <laughs> it's very, very fragrant. And we'll put a lot of it in our potato salad to give it just a real nice flavor. We have just an incredible garden this year. All this stuff that's grown up. What have you got going on here? Where is it? Right here. Oh, look at that. Look at that little baby worm. I don't know that you can see it, but it's right there. Very oh, well okay. camouflaged. Yeah, sure is. It's right there. Well, don't hurt it. Just no, I'm, it I'm just going to get rid of it. Two eggs. It looks a little bit different from when you saw it out in the garden just now. But this is the dill after it's been washed and prepared. So you're getting closer to potato salad every moment. I have my cooked potatoes here. And since I peeled and cut them up before I cooked them, I can mix them right in to my bowl. They're ready. To toss the ingredients that I have prepared thus far, sliced cucumber, sweet pickle relish, and some diced sweet Vidalia onion. The only dressing I've added so far is some ranch dressing. Next I'm going to add some Miracle Whip. I can hardly wait to see what this looks like. It's going to look like Miracle Whip, <laughs> only it's a big jar. One gallon, 3.79 liters. Challenge. So for all you, all you Buick fans right there, you're looking at the displacement of a 3800 V6 engine as visualized in Miracle Whip. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, we got to get the safety boy. Eh? Well, they don't. Uh, that's that's that. valuable stuff, you know. Oh, they, they it don't, is. Uh, they don't want just any Tom, Dick, or Harry getting their hands on that stuff. Okay, so I'm going to freely add some Miracle Whip. Because <laughs> we have no shortage of it to add. <laughs> and that combined with my ranch dressing will make a really good coating for my potatoes. And I can smell, they smell so good. The oh, fresh, it does. The fresh cucumber, the fresh onion. It's really the cucumber that I can smell. Alrighty. So, next. Because my dill is fresh, I'll just have a a last minute visual inspection to make sure I don't have any little green wormy friends. Although I did wash it, I'm choosing to use the leaves. Although any part of the dill plant is edible. Oh, why there's a little worm friend. Oh, you found another one? See him right there? Yeah, that one's real tiny. Where is he? We don't want to eat it's right, him. It's right there, I think. Okay. Is he there? Let me see. Yeah, right yeah, there. Yeah, right there. Okay. Well, we don't use chemicals. We don't use pesticides. So we'll have a visual inspection with our dill. Like I said, I did rinse it under the sink. But some worms are resilient. <laughs> but I don't see anything more here. Okay. So I'm just going to take my scissors which is the handiest tool. A nice clean pair of versatile scissors. And I'm going to dice up this fragrant and tasty dill for my creamy dill potato salad, which I'm inventing as we go along. But it will be good. A little basic knowledge of cooking skills and you can get some wonderful results with experimentation. So that stuff is really starting to smell very strong. Mm, doesn't it smell good? So how much dill do I want to put in? Well, how much do you like dill? And of course, fresh herbs are a little more potent than the old stale dried ones that come in a can. Dill is so easy to grow. 
So if you've never tried it, you might want to give it a try. I hear the key keeper's big brown piece of junk outside. Oh. We'll have a hungry bunch in no time. Okay. Now, we'll add dill to taste, but I'm anxious to crack open these eggs because I had told you that I would have beautiful, beautiful yolks. That they wouldn't be green. Now we get to find out whether or not she was yoking. And that the eggs would be cooked to perfection. And I've had that egg right timer for years. In fact, I bought it at a Farm Progress show probably 20 years ago. All righty. See what happens here. Oh, yeah, they are. And perfect. there you have perfect hard boiled eggs thanks to the egg right and cooling them in ice water. But don't worry if you call in the next 15 minutes. <laughs> all right. So I'll dice up the egg. And that's all we'll need. Give it a light toss. Two eggs ought to be a plenty. And we'll give it a light toss with our dill. And there we have creamy dill potato salad. Happy 4th of July. That's all there is to it. And there it is. Now the last thing that we're going to do is transfer our salad to a stainless steel bowl because the stainless steel will chill and cool much quicker in the refrigerator. And presentation in food preparation is just as important as how the food tastes. It's got to look good and taste good. So, for the final garnish, we have some lovely fresh lemon basil that we will complement our bowl. Bon appetit! Like she said, bon appetit! <laughs>